Good morning, everyone. I'm Isidro Flores. I am the Deputy Sales Director of ATB Diagnostics in North America. Today, I would like to talk about a case study. The case study name is Power Recovery After Ending the Rating with Yaltes in a case Magnum 340 with full power shift transmission, a final tier 4. As you know, nowadays, as the number of control units and electronics increases in agricultural vehicles, fault codes related to sensors, relays, and other similar components are also rising. If these kind of fault codes are not found soon, they can be really expensive in the long term. One of the most frequent problems that affect agricultural vehicles is the engine duration. This happens due to a malfunctioning of the anti-pollution system. For example, if the exhaust gas recirculation, the EGR valve fails, the engine power will derate and after performing the necessary repairs, it is essential to tell the engine control unit that the problem has been solved in order to restore the power again. Yaw test, as you know, it is the best diagnostic tool offered in the market, is able to do this kind of actions for several engines and vehicles. For example, in this case study, we are talking about a case Magnum 340 with full power shift transmission that fulfills a final tier four normative. Taking this tractor as an example, let's see the process to perform in order to recover the engine's power. So, Right now, we are going to agricultural vehicles. Then we are going to select case. You know, we have right now 55 makes. Then if we go to Magnum series, we can also use the search bar or a category. Then if we look for the number 240, we were looking for the magnum full power shift final tier 4. So we double click. And then we can see all the systems that we can connect to. But the one that we are interested in is the engine. So we click on the engine. And then we need to select if it has an SCR or an SCR plus DPS. We select the SCR plus DPS, then we click on Accept. And then what we will be doing now is the following. When we have a, a problem with an engine duration, we observe that the performing of our tractor is going down. So there must be a problem in the engine. We connect with gel test, perform a diagnosis, and we see that there are some fault codes related to the anti-pollution system. So, for example, the HCR module. After taking the measurements and also the electronics and the wiring diagrams, we are sure that a specific component is malfunctioning. So, it can be either repaired or replaced. The tractor is now repaired, but the control unit still restricts the power of the engine. That's why we need to perform some actions to restore the full um, capability of the tractor. In this case, it will be the start up counter restart, and the verification of the SCR system fault repair. 
we need to know that the control unit only allows three start apps at full power. So we go to maintenance, then we click on startup counter, restart. First of all, uh, the program is asking us to use the expert mode. Remember that we will need to use the expert mode uh, to make any action related to the maintenance, for example. So everyone will have his expert mode, and then we type it in, we click on accept, and then it will explain you, as always, what the action is about. As you can see here, the control unit only allows three start apps at full power for 30 minutes after the full code appears in the vehicle. Afterwards, if anti-pollution fault codes are still detected, the engine shuts down and it is needed to reset the startup counter. If the startup counter is restarted and there are no fault codes, then it is necessary to perform the verification of the ACR system fault repair. But first, we will um, do this action, the startup counter restart. We click on Next. Then we need to meet the initial conditions. In this case, we are in a demo mode, so we need to stop the engine. Once we stop the engine, we click on processing, and then before continuing, it tells us that we need to turn the ignition off and on. We do it. We click on next, and then the process has finished. Now that we have performed that action, we will need to perform the verification of the SCR system fault repair. So we go to system checks, then verification of the SCR system fault repair. And what it will happen, it will check the correct operation of the components of the anti-pollution system. So again, a brief description. As always, in any action that we want to perform in Delta, it will be a description initial conditions that we need to meet, and then the action itself. So we click on Next. Then we need to read. In this case, the test will not be carried out correctly. The control unit memory has fault stored. We don't have any fault after performing the other action. So we click on Accept. We, uh, it is processing, as you can see. We will tell you the conditions, the new stop, wait 120 seconds, and so on. Then it will continue, confirm the following conditions. We confirm it. We will have the check marks. And then we click on Accept. We click on Accept. Next. Then we need to increase the engine speed. Once we get the different ones with text, we go to the next step. It, it is set the engine at idle speed. And then we are processing. We are in, in the last part of the action. We click on check. And here we are. This process ends automatically. It will take approximately two minutes. You see how it's going? The process has finished. The checking values are correct. We click on Accept, and then it will have finished. We need to remember that when we um, do this action, at the end, we need to perform a diagnosis again to check that all related fault codes have been removed. After following all these steps with Deltas, the tractor will regain its full power and ready to work again. Right now that we have already shown how it looks like, the whole process, we will show you how our life Action has happened with one of our engineers, so we will click on replay. Remember, 
click on agricultural vehicles case, then we go to a specific uh, make a model, then we go to the engine, we select the kind of connection, or as you know, it will always show you where to connect, then we click on the how the tractor has a C, uh, an SCR or a SCR plus DPS, then we go to do a diagnosis to see the fault codes that are active or non-active. In this case, we see the different fault codes really related to the anti pollution system. So now we go to maintenance, and we are going to perform the start up counter restart. We need the expert mode. So our engineer department was helping this customer uh, in customer support. Then we click on next to perform the action. As you can see, we need to follow the steps as we did in the demo mode. Then the process has finished and we did it already. Now we need to do a full code reading to see which fault codes we have. We see that we only have that fault code right now. So we need to do the verification. Right now we are going to verification of the CR system fault repair. Okay, information about the action. Then uh, we will have information about the different process that needs to be carried out. As you can see, confirm the following conditions and you need to stop, wait 120 seconds. If the described conditions are not met, the counter will restart to zero seconds. We will go a bit forward, 114. We are almost there in the first system check, the first part of the system check. Then confirm the following. Conditions. They had to start the engine, but less than 1,150 RPM, and the coolant fluid temperature uh, must be higher than 60 degrees. They did it. Then the LCR catalyst temperature, they did it. And then they needed to increase the engine speed until it exceeds 2,100 RPM and keep the speed above this value until otherwise indicated. This process ends automatically. It will take approximately four minutes, as you can see. And in order to the process can be carried out correctly, it is necessary that the displayed measurements are within the correct range. We see that we have 20 something seconds. Let's go a bit forward because it's going to be four minutes. Then we go a bit forward. Now we are the next step, set the engine at evil speed. This process ends automatically. It will take approximately one minute. So our customer support team was helping this customer. Let's go a bit forward. So we get to the 60 seconds approximately. All right, it's processing. Now, stop the engine, turn the ignition key on, and continue with the action. They did it, so they clicked on Next. Then this process ends automatically. It will take approximately two minutes. So we have eight seconds. Let's go a bit forward. And then, as you can see, this was the last part of the process. So we go back to gel test. And now you can see how you can solve this problem with gel test. We just show it to you how to recover power after engine derating with gel test. We can do it with different 
uh, agricultural vehicles, but in this case, we focus on that case. Specifically, it was a case Magnum 340 with full power shift transmission and a final tier 4. We click on no, and this is the end. Thank you very much. And I hope that you can try it yourself if you ever have a, an engine duration. And if you don't know how to do it, don't hesitate to contact us in customer support. Thank you very much.